Good morning, this is Dwayne, and I'd like to talk today about the way melodies wrap themselves around chords. You know that in every song there's a chord structure, that uh, a chord progression that moves from one chord to another to another and so on, okay? They're usually in repetitive fashion, but they're always chord progressions of some sort. And so the melodies, the tunes that, uh, that are created, uh, wrap themselves around or through the chords. Let me just give you an illustration. You know this is a C chord, okay? Now I'm going to play that... Uh, okay, a uh, little song, something about row the boat ashore. Uh, notice it play, goes right through the C chord, doesn't it? The C chord's in fours, and so it just climbs through the chord, doesn't it? I call it climbing through chords. Out of the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of the first nine notes, they're all members of the C chords except that one, right? Okay, and so chords do, I mean, melodies do wind themselves through chords. Let me give you another example. Let's, let, maybe this is a better example. Uh, you know that, here's that rainy day, this song. So on, okay. I want you to look at the first part. That's the F chord. Then it changes to A flat. Now watch this. Those are the three notes of the A flat chord. The A flat chord is A flat, C, and E flat, and it just goes up: C, E flat, A flat, C. Okay. Nothing could be simpler once you understand the structure. But you see, by knowing that melodies do that you can watch out for things like that and it makes learning music a whole lot easier it makes reading music a whole lot easier in other words if you can look at a piece of sheet music and see the structure of notes breaking up a chord you say oh okay that makes sense now okay let me do it again here's the f chord then it goes to the a flat chord a flat seventh actually right up the a flat chord that's d flat now the next note is C, that's G minor 7th suspended, but watch this, that's the C 7th chord now. It goes right up the notes of the C 7th chord, you see that? By the way, if, if melodies are not going through chords, not breaking up chords, they're, they're going through scales. In fact, that's the, only, that's the only possibility, just understand that. Melodies are made out of scale fragments and chord, okay? That's all, that's all there could be, you know? It's, it's, some, it's gotta be some sort, of, some sort of scale, no matter what the, uh, no matter what the chord does. I'll, I'll go back to the first example. Now I'm not only playing the melody, but I'm playing the whole chord because why not? You know, it's, it's right. I can play it under the melody. Okay, so just remember that melodies are made out of broken chords and scales, and there's really no other possibility. So that's it for today. If you enjoy these kind of musical tips, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for my free educational newsletter. You'll get tips like this most every day uh, about a wide variety of things, mostly about chords, but sometimes a lot about a lot of other stuff too, so related to music theory. Music theory, by the way, is just a fancy word for understanding what you're doing. Okay, 
understanding what you're playing. So the more you can understand about what you're playing, the better off you are. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.